and welcome to our annular solar eclipse in Gemini. So a lot of astrologers are saying that this is going to be a major, major reset for us just in general. The overall energy right now, um, I'm just going to be honest with you, it does feel a little chaotic and I think it's only chaotic just because the changes that are coming we have zero control over. Um, so this is definitely a week where you are going to need to ground, ground, ground. I feel like I've been saying that in a lot of my videos, but really that's, if you're having a difficult time right now, um, I feel like that is your best bet. And I feel like it's definitely going to open you up to relaxing and to release control because if you were rigid in your plans, if you were rigid with your goals, with what you want to happen and in the way you want it to happen, um, you might find that this week it's like it plants a seed where things just, not to say you're not going to get what you want, but I think we're going to get it in a very, very unlikely way. So an annular solar eclipse, um, it all happens this Thursday in Gemini and it's going to basically just catapult us onto a new path completely. Um, I'm getting mixed information on if we should be setting intentions or if the intentions you have already set, basically this is where you're just going to see those things start to really kick it up into high gear. Again, it's going to be in a way that you probably didn't anticipate. Um, this energy, even though it's an annular solar eclipse, it is still extremely potent. Full or a total solar eclipse, basically that is maximum energy. Annular is literally right below that, so you're still going to be feeling this. Um, with our lunar eclipse, we had it in Sagittarius. Now we're, we've switched our nodes, now we're over to the Gemini side. For a lot of you, you already know Gemini is all about messages, information. This could be in the form of you uh, getting emails, or it could be texts, or it could be phone calls. You could be having conversations with people in your real life or downloads so like you getting downloads of information when you're meditating or when you're praying um, information through dreams right now this also in gemini rules short distance trips or vehicles so if you're interested in those things this could be you going on a short trip to a new place and being like oh my gosh this is where i'd want to work this is where i'd want to live um, or just something happening over during that short trip that kind of changes your thinking and your views and um, basically sets you off on a new path it's okay if things don't go exactly as planned with this energy. Honestly, I don't think it's supposed to. Um, we just have a lot going on and a lot of our current plans, our current goals for what we wanted and what we saw for ourselves, are basically being rearranged right now. I keep on recommending you to ground because if you're trying to hold on for dear life, um, now is not the time. You just kind of want to ground yourself and have faith and go with the flow. Um, any type of rigidity is not going to be um, praised right now. I mean, there are times when being very rigid and sticking to a strict plan, like it will pay off. Um, but the Saturnian energy right now, um, it isn't really favoring that. But the good news is with Saturn being retrograde, we're also going to get some, some of that pressure we've been feeling kind of released with this eclipse. So if you feel under pressure now, just know that even with things kind of feeling like they're spiraling in directions that you couldn't anticipate, it might be for the better because you will feel a lot less stress on you. The cool thing about this week is even with Mercury being retrograde, Mercury is going to be going Kazemi on Thursday evening. This is amazing because anything that was, any information that was cloudy, um, this could be you trying to figure out things for yourself, your next move. This could be uh, cloudy information between you and a person, um, anything. Um, basically, during its Kazemi period, which is going to be like about one to two hours Thursday evening, so around seven, basically these downloads are just going to come from nowhere. This is an amazing time to have an important conversation with someone to get the conversation started, or you might have someone reach out to you during this time and just drop some truth bombs on you that completely changes your way of thinking. This is a very impactful week. Um, the seeds of whatever is rearranging itself in your life or whatever seeds are being planted, it's all going to unfold over the next few weeks, two months. So yes, just being completely honest, for some people, it is going to feel like a moment of crisis. It's going to feel like bad news at first, but if you are having bad news, if you are having news that, um, 
or some type of situation that you really never wanted to happen just know that in the end it is going to be more beneficial for you because it's basically getting you out of your comfort zone out of whatever past mindset you were in and it's basically ushering you into a new way of thinking and um, it could be even a new way of living and a new mentality around how you see the world and how you see people I did pull some cards and um, so I pulled some cards just overall for the collective conscious like just our just our conscious on a whole on what's going on um, what is the energy and so the first card I got was the three of swords <laughs> and I put it back <laughs> I know I'm so shallow um, because I was just like okay what like what does this mean everyone who's in a relationship is gonna get bad news as I pulled more cards like I just kind of see that it just means emotional turmoil okay so y of course some people are gonna have relationships with friends or it could be even relationships with people in your life who aren't who you're not romantically involved with or people who you are romantically involved with of course some people are going to have those relationships start to kind of fizzle out but overall for the energy i just think it means emotional turmoil so if you're feeling a little bit of anxiety if you're feeling a little worried um i think it's just natural especially with the follow-up cards that i pulled <laughs> like i really don't think there's a way around this other than grounding yourself and just releasing control it's all about release so the next card i picked is the eight of pentacles this is one of mastery this is a card of just finally getting something right and of looking at things and anything that is no longer working you're just kind of like throwing it to the wayside this is you achieving perfection in whatever you are being focused on but and this kind of goes back to our three of swords energy we also have the eight of cups which now i'm seeing we have a lot of eight energy so i'm about to look up the number eight in numerology because i think this might be a sign for us um have you guys been seeing repeating numbers um these past few days i've been seeing one 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 so just three ones a lot and nine 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 um i had to look up the 999 and it just means a lot of things are about to be falling away in my life myself um so for this this is just kind of walking away but honestly i'm not sure if we're going to have the choice to walk away i think we're going to be forced to walk away from some things but again this could be good if you're in a career field that you do not like at this time then just know that you're going to have to walk away from it in order to get to the career or starting the business that you actually want um if you are single right now just understand you have to walk away from your current mentality your current mindset on relationships and why you think you're single and you have to walk into something completely new so i don't want you to feel like this is all doom and gloom um even getting a three of swords you know having some emotional angst going on right now i think it's kind of like a diamond but you're going through all of that pressure and on the other side we have the star card this card for me, I have had amazing things happen in my life when I have chosen, well not really chosen the star card, it's more like the card chooses you, but when it comes in an outcome position, which this is in a future position, this is everything you could have ever wanted kind of just coming to fruition and uh, it's like those hopes and dreams, kind of like those things that may seem hard for you to focus on right now may seem hard for you to see okay how is this going to come about it's just things lining up so synchronistically and and really just in ways that you could never have done it yourself like it's like you definitely need divine intervention to make these things happen and so i mean that kind of just saved it for me like you know the energy um definitely don't have fear during this time and um, i think now would be an amazing time to do maybe like um, a celtic cross type reading on yourself you can look it up because it's a it's definitely a lot of cards but it's a specific type of spread that's going to show you your past your present your future what's on your subconscious what are you moving towards um what type of uh, like what advice like what you should do also um what people or what things may kind of come in and start to change whatever path you're on um it also shows your your fears and your hopes and then it shows the total outcome energy so between all of those cards it is amazing to just get a grip of what was your past what are you currently going through and what are you moving into so if you're into tarot i highly recommend um, this is a great time to do a reading like that right now i did one for myself a few days ago and so you definitely want to write it down in a journal or in a book um what cards were in what placements what do the cards mean and um, this is something that we're going to want to look back on over these next few months over these next few weeks because it's going to help guide us through 
all of these changes that are taking place. So I'm very excited for everyone. Um, the great news is you don't have to do anything this week. You really don't. A lot of this energy is faded. So that means it's gonna happen to you whether or not you're ready. <laughs> um, so just uh, buckle up and um, you know ground yourself and uh, definitely keep that high vibration state of mind because it definitely is gonna be very beneficial. And um, for those of you who have been kind of in the dark or you've had murky communication and you just okay what's the deal what's going on what's going to happen you're definitely going to get clarity this week and so i think that's probably the biggest blessing that you can look forward to i think this week is just finally gaining some clarity